Will the Las Vegas Raiders trade away Hunter Renfro this week? I'm going to give you my answer here. I'm Mitchell Renz, host of the Raiders Report, and there's been a lot, a lot of rumors circulating around number 13, and this is a player that I get it. Raider Nation loves. I love Renfro. We always have the respect for him because he was a solid player when we needed him the most. But for those of you that watch this show, <coughs> where there is smoke, there is usually fire. And I am telling you all right now, the amount of smoke <coughs> that's going on right now around Hunter Renfro, it's getting to be a little bit intoxicating. I don't even know if that's the right word to use for it. But you know what? If Renfro does end up getting dealt, we're going to go live here on the Raiders board. Hell, if any trade ends up going down before the NFL trade deadline, we will be making a video. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got those notifications turned on. I don't want you to be the Raider fan that's like, yo, you think the Raiders are going to trade Renfro? And then you got Tropical Kyle down in the comments, and he's like, are you kidding me? The Raiders board, they already talked about that. 20 days ago. Don't be that guy. Hit that subscribe button. So let's go to the graphic that gets Raider fans as excited as any that I've seen. Is a Renfro trade going to be happening? Well, according to Diana Rossini, she says the Raiders have been trying to trade on a Renfro. We talked about this earlier in the week. We also talked about it a little bit later last week as well. And yes, the Raiders are right now trying to move on from Renfro. And They've been taking calls. They've been trying to do some different things here and there. But again, the way that the whole smoke and fire thing works is this. When it's a lot of reporters saying the exact same thing, chances are it's true. And if you didn't see the exact quote from Diana, here it is. Leak sources say they are trying to trade receiver Hunter Renfro, whom they have used minimally this season. And if you remember, when I was live during our tailgate party, you can go back if you don't believe me. Raiders Patriots, I got a message that said the Raiders are really going to try and trade Renfro this week. As soon as I heard that, I go, man, I don't know how much you're going to see Renfro out on the field against the New England Patriots. What ends up happening? Then the Raiders, they don't target Renfro, and he plays in seven snaps, I think is what it ended up being. Usually when teams are trying to trade away players, you see exactly what the Raiders did to Hunter Renfro. Like, then that guy ends up getting dealt. So again, a lot, a lot of smoke around Raiders trying to move on from Renfro. It was happening all in the offseason. The thing right now holding up the Renfro trade, this was confirmed by Jordan Schultz, and in fact, he just put it out there a few minutes ago. Apparently, Renfro wants out of Las Vegas, and according to Schultz, the Raiders also want to move on from Renfro, but the thing holding it up, it's the money. There's not many teams right now that want to take on Renfro's contract being what it is, and if they were to trade him right now, the team would probably end up having to take on like eight, seven million dollars because at the beginning of the year, Renfro got 13.1. But I'm a believer in trends, and I'm a believer that teams tell you what they're doing before it actually happens. Here is Hunter Renfro's last five games, okay? The number on the left is how many snaps he played, and then the percentage is how many snaps overall it ended up being. So as you can see here, in week two, 26 snaps, that was 65% of the snaps, which is sad. That just shows you how many plays the Raiders did not run against Buffalo. Then in week three, 37 snaps, that was 50%. Week four, 33, 45%. 20 snaps against the Packers, 31%. 10% of snaps against the Patriots. I'm bad at math, okay? But I believe every single person right now sees this trend. And the trend is Hunter Renfro is getting less and less and less and less playing time. And right before the all the big time rumors and all the smoke started going, you saw him get used the least that you ever have. Why? The Raiders don't want Renfro to get hurt because they know if he's hurt, they're stuck with him. And the fact that they're trying to move on from him, and yes, there are teams that are interested, but it's the money that's holding it up right now. So are the Raiders going to be buyers? Are they going to be sellers at the deadline is a question. I know that they're going to be buying. However, I am very confident in saying that I'm a huge believer that they will be selling Hunter Renfro by the October 31st deadline, which is at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Another reason to hit that subscribe button, Chugs and I, we're going to be live all day on Halloween, waiting for trades to end up going down. Games until then, you got the Bears, then you got the Detroit Lions on Monday night football. The Raiders have been looking to do player-for-player -player trades. That was something that Diana reported last week. Maybe it's going to be Renfro for a player straight up. Could absolutely happen. Could just be Renfro for, well, 
I'll tell you what I think Renfro is worth a, in a trade here in just a minute. So coming up here next, if I'm going to sit up here and say that I think Renfro is going to get dealt, I'm going to give you the top five destinations for number 13. And then at the very end of the show, I'm going to tell you what he's worth in a trade because I reached out to three, I'll call them NFL insiders that cover a bunch of different teams. And I'll tell you what they told me what Renfro is worth. Now, if you don't know, shout out to our sponsor, Factor Meals. I don't know if you can hear Jeremy in the background. He's going, mmm. Mm, you know why? Mm, mm. Factor, shit's fire, man. And you can go make sure your stomach is nice and full. You can be a happy person because I don't know about you. When I'm hungry, I kind of get a little bit hangry. And if you're too busy this fall to cook but still want to make sure that you're eating well, with Factor, you can skip the trip to the grocery store, all the chopping, the prepping, and cleaning up too while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back to crushing your day. This October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals. Delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash RaidersChat50 and use code RaidersChat50 to get 50% off. That's code RaidersChat50 at factormeals.com slash RaidersChat50 to get 50% off. And if you're like, Mitch, I still don't know what the link is. I don't know what the code is. Don't worry. Chokes put it down in the comments, and he put it down in the description as well. I promise you this. If you're a busy person and one, two, hell, even three days out of the week, you're like, man, I just don't have time to cook dinner, and I definitely don't have time to clean up. Factor is going to be awesome food. I know when I heard microwave, I was like, no way. It's 10 out of 10 times better than what you think it is in your mind. All right, let's keep it rolling here with Hunter Renfro. I wouldn't trade Factor for anything. Renfro, though, I would trade him for some picks, which I'll tell you here in just a second. This season, he has been targeted nine times. He has six catches for 59 yards. And basically, since he's been with Josh McDaniels, Man, we got to be able to face the facts here. McDaniels has not used Renfro at all. He has played in, I'm going to say, 17, 18 games. He's got one start. To me, though, the teams that would be interested in trading for him, the Buffalo Bills. And for people who watch the show, this list really has not changed for me because I believe Buffalo, yes, they look great sometimes, but then they also have that clunker of a game like they did against the New York Giants. And Josh Allen has succeeded when he's had a receiver like a Cole Beasley. Now you can get a Hunter Renfro. The New Orleans Saints, if there's one team that is already showing you this year, man, they had Lynn Bowden Jr. down there. They had Brian Edwards at one time down there. They have Foss Moreau down there now. Derek Carr, DC, the best DC's ever had, and the best Renfro's ever been is with that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they try to get that pairing together since that offense has been struggling the way that it has. The New England Patriots. If there was a trade that I think could go down, Kendrick Bourne for Hunter Renfro straight up is an intriguing one to me. The Minnesota Vikings, they need another Adam Thielen. Since they've lost him, he's not there. And then the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens, I do believe, could use a slot receiver like Renfro. So what do you all think? If we were live on the show right now, I just look down, I go, oh my God, Hunter Renfro just got traded. Which team do you think he's going to? What team do you believe is the most likely picks up the phone Calls McDaniels, calls Ziegler, and says, I want Hunter Renfro. Let me know, because coming up here on this show, I'm about to tell you what I think Renfro is worth in a trade. Before I get into that, I do want to keep you up to date on when Jeremy and I are going to be live this week. We go live every Monday and Tuesday. You might as well already put that in your calendar. Live Raiders Report, Monday, Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific. Then we go live on Thursday. We do a little Thursday night football, have a little fun. Thirsty Thursday, let the hair down a little bit. And yeah, we slam a few brewskis, no doubt about it. But you know what? We get to watch Derek Carr this Thursday. I'm excited. Then live Sunday. It's an early morning for people out there on the West Coast. But I need y'all to rally. We're going to be battling Bears Now, our third biggest channel here at Chat Sports. The Raiders report in terms of subscribers is the second biggest. We're taking on the third biggest in a... Big time super chat, subscriber battle. I need the entire nation to rally because they've been talking hella shit. Hella, hella shit. So let's get in now to what the Renfro trade value is, okay? So over the last, I'll say, 48 hours, I've made some phone calls. I've texted a few people. And there's a guy, he covers the NFC or a NFC team. And he told me the what you would get for Renfro is a fifth round at best. 
Then I reached out to a friend of mine who covers an AFC team, and he said a sixth-round pick seems fair. Then I talked to another guy who I trust very, very much in the NFL world, and he said the Randy Gregory trade. So I know there's a lot of Raider fans out there that think, oh, we're going to get a second-round pick, a third-round pick, a fourth-round pick for Renfo. You ain't getting that. Like, I'm sorry. You're not going to get it. This is a yard sale type of a deal, and yes, I think Renfro's a good player, but you got to understand where the hell this team has been and where Renfro is right now, and a lot of people don't look at him as the way that I think Raider fans look at him because Raider fans see 100 catch Hunter Renfro. The rest of the NFL looks at, well, he had 36 grabs last year, and he's not even getting used this year. So you got to think about that in terms of value, and then you also got to add the money on top of it. If you don't know what the Randy Gregory trade was, this is what it was. The Broncos receive a sixth-round pick. The Niners get Randy Gregory and a seventh. This is the deal that I think fans would be really upset if it ended up going down because of the money and how it works. But there's a part of me that wonders, could it be this? Could it be Raiders get a six-round pick, and then the other team gets Hunter Renfro in a seventh? To me, the value that it ends up coming out, and again, I've said this multiple, multiple times here on this show. Raiders get a six, NFL team receives Hunter Renfro. I believe that at best, the silver and black will get a six-round pick for Renfro. But hey, what do you guys think? This is a show about the nation. It is. It's just a cold, hard fact. What do you think Hunter Renfro is worth in a trade? Is he worth a third-round pick? Is he worth a seventh-round pick? Is he worth a fourth, a second? I've seen all the answers out there, and I've heard people say a whole bunch of different things to me. If Mitch, you don't know what trades are. If there's one thing that I feel like I've actually been pretty damn spot on, it's been my draft coverage here of the Raiders in terms of players that are good and bad, and it's been what players are worth in a trade. I take a lot of pride in that. So buzz matic says six. I see some people down in the live comments saying five. I want to know from all of you, what do you think Hunter Renfro is worth in a trade?